my uh, Collins Hunter axe, my uh, cans bolt knife. That's why I'm showing you, but the cans bolt knife. Uh, I have a little more work to do on this, and I'll sand it down. But uh, yeah, it works good. This is a, uh, a different sheath. Nice one there. This is good enough. I mean, it's not not perfect, but much better than the one it comes with. They have a kit, but the best they have. This is just from another knife I had, and it's uh, much better. I don't like this sheath. Very hard to get the Canswell knife out, so I'm not too crazy about that. But the knife itself, and this is a nice sheath. The knife itself, um, I make a lot of spoons and spatulas, and uh, good for the spatula, good for this part, this part, which is the same on a spoon or a spatula. All here, all here, here. Works very well. I'm ha I'm happy with it. So no, I'm not in, in the woods beating the crap out. I I would I would not baton with this. It's kind of thin on the end. It's uh. Great okay, for uh, trail rides, but um, I don't know if I'll show you, but uh, 4071, let's just see if we can throw a couple sparks over here with this. Let's see, works very well, but um, yeah, I make a lot of spoons and uh, spatulas and things, so I tried it out, and it's uh, quite good. So right now, I'm just kind of like, actually rub the actual the blade on here, smoothing areas out. That's what I do most of the time. Just about everything. But the knife works good. Now on a spoon, let me just get one spoon. I'm gonna show you something. The spoon here I just made, uh, I believe yesterday. And uh, I I started and I wanted to open this up a little bit. It's a little too big for that. So I actually used my Eldris to just touch this up. I have hook knives too, but, uh, and that worked pretty good. But for, for basic stuff, the uh, cans ball works very good. Um, I'm very happy with it, but no, I wouldn't want a baton. I'm not big into batoning anyways, but sometimes you have to, you know, but if you get the more robust classic or my martini knives, some of them I have kind of thicker here. This is kind of weak on the end here. People have tested, nothing has happened. They baton with it, they do everything, but I, I don't like that. But I want a knife I can take out and make some notches, do some things, do a little... Spoon making, spatula making, and this works very well. Do the bulk of the cutting with the, this is the Collins ass, Axe. It's it's a little heavier than my um, Colt Steel. My Haltzbrook is actually just as heavy as this, which is great for this. You know, so I do a lot of work like that with these. And um, and this is fine. So was, this wood was a little tough today, so I, I was doing it with the cold steel, but then I, I wanted something heavier, so I used my Collins, but my main goal was to try this knife out and see how it works with, I guess, my bushcraft spoon making or spatula making. I've been making a lot of spatulas lately. It's just kind of a thing that I've been doing recently. For my clients, we usually pay nothing, family and friends. So I'm just building up a little stock, but I did make a spoon too. So I have more work to do on this to sand it, but I like to actually run the blade over this and get some, some of the ridges and cuts out. Again, not, these are not supposed to be perfect or fancy or, you know, it's not, it's not how it works. 
supposed to be functional. It's actually a grain on this one, but sometimes you get the little cuts, but this, this works out. And then I'll sharpen it after. But I, I like it, I like it very much. It has a great, great feel on it. And uh, so I'm very happy with it. Is this a review? It's a partial, initial using review or information. But uh, yeah, so this will just help smooth things out a little bit. You see the nice spalting in there. I don't know if you can see it too good, but uh, so that's what I'm doing here, man. And I'm gonna sand this down. I just wanted to show you while I had this out. I'll post some of the information on here. But, uh, yeah, that's the green. But, uh, made some smaller ones. This is kind of a mid sized one. But, uh, yeah. Again, I don't like the, the case that this comes with at all. Um, it's just. I'm afraid you're going to pull the knife out and, uh, and poke yourself, quite frankly. Not like the other Mora sheets. You know, it goes in and it's kind of hard to pull. See how you, it goes? It's hard to pull out. I, I don't like it. I don't think it's safe. But I had this other knife here. This is actually made in Pakistan. But not a cheap Pakistani knife. A, a good one. And uh, Which I have in a different sheath there. But, but this sheath is very nice, very well made, um, very pretty. And this fits very nice in there. Good enough, not perfect, but good enough. It's, it's, you know, it's not wobbling. It's fine, it's got the dangle around there. So that's how I'm gonna use it. And then I'll sharpen this up. I didn't like the smell of it before, but it says great, uh, that's spalted, that's why it looks nasty, but. Uh, Pour my tea here. Got my wood stove going upstairs. It's fine, man. Yeah. That's beautiful, man. Oh. Mm hmm. It's fine. Works good. Nothing fancy. I'm not bit. I made like four cooks. Um. My mulberry one came out real nice. My cedar one came out real nice. Uh, my first one, which is pine, looks kind of funky, but I, I like it a lot. It's a lot of good capacity. It's fine. Oh. It's fine. I like the capacity on there. It's, it's, it tastes fine. The wood's just kind of funny. Oh, it's not a pretty wood. But I just had some. I wanted to try it. So, But, uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh. So every once in a while, I'll still keep oiling the outside, but the inside, I'm not going to oil that anymore when I, I did initially, but then I added the, uh, you know, the hot tea and stuff and kind of rinsed it out a little bit, but uh, it's fine. Yeah. Not pretty, but very functional. Nice capacity on it. I showed you my cedar one before, but that, that's, that's very pretty. But, uh. My mulberry is nice too with the holes in there, but this is fine. So, but anyways, this is supposed to be about the knife, which eventually will be used on cooks too. But, uh, mm. yeah, pretty good, man. Mm. It's fine, it's very fine, yeah. Good. That's some oil that I put on there recently. Walrus oil. Squeeze them like a pimple. That walrus. You know. <laughs> so we're good, man. More cans bowl. Quinesmo. Fair rod. Let's keep the peace, people. Do what we gotta do. And so we're right here just doing our thing. So you take care. Have a good time. Take care.